Hello, hello, hello. This is some Arsenal news. This is Tasnol. And we're going to talk about Arsenal. You know, um, they made changes to the season tickets. And this was posted an hour ago. So, yeah, this is uh, breaking news. Um, let's talk through it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's actually... I'm going to be reading this. We are announcing significant changes to season tickets or men's matches at Emirates Stadium for next season. The biggest change which follows support or feedback involves reducing the number of home matches included in a season ticket from 26 to 22 matches. In addition, as part of our ambition to encourage young supporters to attend matches, we are extending the 25% discount on season tickets and match-by-match tickets currently provided to people to the age of 21 to the age of 24. Um, I'm probably just a year older than that. But oh well. For next season, a season ticket will include all 19 Premier League matches and three European group stage matches. Subject to qualification, previously, the 26 match season ticket covered all home Premier League matches, five European matches, and two home FA Cup matches. The biggest benefit for general admission season ticket holders is that they will only be paying for matches that are guaranteed to be played, rather than paying up front for matches which may not happen as has been the case previously. Season ticket holders will have priority to purchase tickets for any other further home European or, or cup matches before they go on sale to other members. Uh, let my, well, there's less matches been given and their reasoning for that is because uh, fans season fans oh, I'm saying season ticket holders were paying up front for matches that may not happen for example the European matches group stage matches yeah I kind of understand that the move follows ongoing feedback from season ticket holders who want more flexibility around attending matches and to support our desire to make more tickets available to our growing membership base. Moving the four group credits from the season, ticket will also make up 150,000 additional match tickets available for members to purchase next season. So members, you know, the lower you know the red members and the silver members can buy whoever's in the low membership card they can uh, they can buy um tickets prices in the lower tier will go up by six percent and four percent in the upper tier this price increase will be the same for all match by match tickets if you were to qualify for the champions league that would equate to an average reduction in the cost for full price adult general admission season ticket holders of 113 a season. Compared to the equivalent price we had been in the Champions League this season, if we qualify for the Europa League next season, it would leave full price adult season ticket holders paying an average £76 less than they are currently playing this season. Oh, okay. Group level prices will also be going up by an average of 5%. So basically, they make all these changes here. Yeah? But the prices are actually going up. But they're justifying it around here. But actually, season tickets are going up by 6% and 4% in the upper tier. 6% in the lower tier and 4% in the upper tier. They're basically saying, okay, if we qualify for the Champions League games and we go to the latter stages, uh, the prices would be cheaper for season ticket holders on average 
club level prices are also going up an average of 5%. So they did all that jargon to give data to distract us from the fact that season tickets are going up, prices are going up. Club level season tickets will include all competitive men's first team home matches. Season ticket holders will receive specific details about what this means for them in due course. These changes are part of our ongoing commitment to simplify our approach to ticketing while ensuring we operate in a sustainable way for the long term future and create more opportunities for members to get tickets. The new ticketing package also supports investments in Emirates Stadium and initiatives to improve supporters' match day experience. These include further enhancements to our ticketing system, details of which will be communicated in due course. We will also be ramping up with our ongoing work and investment to clamp down on ticket touting to protect honest match-going supporters. We recognise the demand for tickets is at unprecedented levels and we are being working to combat the activities by bots and touts. This has resulted in 100,000 suspected bots being blocked from the ticketing site in recent weeks. recent weeks a significant number of season tickets and the membership accounts have also been banned for suspicious town activities but yeah there are going to be discounts about 25 percent discounts on season tickets to young adult members and they extended it to the age of 24 that's if you can get a season ticket But yeah, the to younger supporters, there's discounts. Obviously, there should be. Anyway, my thoughts on the situation. Well, from what I take is the prices are going up. People will say, oh, it's inflation. No, Arsenal can afford empty seats at the Emirates for a year if they really wanted to because most of their revenue comes from commercial, not match day. So, yeah, they don't have to actually increase the prices. Let's be honest. Uh, they have the high season ticket prices in Europe, which means... Arsenal have to, um, let's be honest, have to perform then on the world stage, I mean on the European stage and at the uh, in the Premier League. And I that's why I demand it every season. Or else, bring it down. Bring it all down. Anyway, until next time guys. I'm out.